And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Jace Swain, our next Jace deck. This again, another viewer submitted donation deck to try out Jace and Swain together. One thing that really ties these two champions together is going to be this new Piltover and Zong card, uh, Shock Blast. Shock Blast is also Jace's champion spell. It's six. It's a six-cost spell, so that's good for Jace, and it deals three to two different enemies or enemy nexuses, and that's going to be good for leveling up Swain halfway there. Whoa. So uh, that's you know going to be a control deck with those two together. Uh, we got the Pharaoh's Financier, of course. This card has been incredible. Forge Chief going to be refilling our spell mana to help us out as a good little one drop. Kind of like Forge Chief, kind of replacing um, House Spider in this kind of deck, like where you want like an early blocker uh, because it can re refill that spell mana and help us out in other places. Station Archivist is just awesome. Uh, can hit a lot of different things, including Thermogenic Beam. Th Thermogenic Beam can be a six plus cost spell for Jace, or it's also a really good hit uh, with the Station Archivist. So it's it's nice and uh, flexible there couple Static Shocks to help out our um, Ravenous Flocks and Scorched Earths and draw some cards. And that's what we got. So let's go and try Jace Swain as a nice little control deck here. We're going to be taking on over to Ranked and playing five games over there. Ezreal Fizz with Bandle City. So whenever they use pranks, I assume pranks don't level up Ezreal, right? That'd be my assumption. I'm gonna keep a Forge Chief, keep one Shock Blast. Shock Blast could kill Ezreal, that could be nice. <laughs> Barbarian says, I usually watch the YouTube videos, so the, having the intro on Twitch feels so surreal. <laughs> Yeah, they don't target, right? Yeah. I wouldn't think so. Like, it, like if it specifically hit a unit, you know? So, not a great trade, but, you know, it is, it is what it is. I like both Strength in Numbers and Progress Day. That's a tough one to decide which one to do. I think we'll just take Progress Day. Shut up when I can. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. They're very content on passing all the time. Don't know exactly what they got going on over there, but they're very content on passing a lot. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Like, this feels like this is gonna be like this must be like a curious shell folk deck, doesn't it? Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Either that or mirror mage. You know, like they gotta have like one of those two. Still at zero right now. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix.
and then just go crazy. Okay, that's actually probably lethal still, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. That's 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 23 damage. Elusive. Alright, that's Glorious Evolution. Okay. All right, Senna Vagar. I, I don't know. I kind of want to keep Sentry. You know, let's keep all this. All right. So my thinking with keeping Sentry is that Sentry will enable Flock if we can find Flock because kill. You know, like Senna and Vagar are two champions that you really want to be able to kill right away, and so um, Sentry plus Flock allows us. You know, could allow us to do that keeping Mystic Shot because of Twisted Catalyzer, right? We really want Mystic Shot against Twisted Catalyzer. Uh, unfortunately, that's not Twisted Catalyzer. Astounding curiosities lie ahead. Let's play another one of these. Coming through. Persistence is key. Don't really have anything to play. Like, so we have the Station Archivist, but all of our three mana or less spells are all removal. You know, we don't have like a time trick or anything like that, so. Oh, why couldn't we have you last round assembly line? You would have been perfect. Last round. Okay. So I'm hoping to hit Thermo. You know, like, there's three Thermos. If we don't hit Thermo, we could also hit Ravenous Flock. Thermo? Wow. These are, like, the only hits that don't help. Because even, like, Mystic Shot would help. Like, our other Mystic Shot would help. So these are... These are, like, the only spells in the deck that don't help. Let me get you that file. So, got punished for playing the Station Archivist here. So, no, those are going to be spells coming up. And through uh, two games, we have not had any lines really work out for us. Born a patrician. I became a soldier. Big head, big brain. Yeah, and now they play Catalyzer now, right after I got rid of those Mystic Shots. How about that? <laughs> How about that? Well, I still, I'm not going to attack it and let them increase the damage. We'll have, we'll have the Death Sand. Yeah, I think that that's maybe our problem. With, yeah, I guess we don't really have any card draw. You know, like, that's, the Static Shocks are kind of clutch. You know, like, they're going to be there for that. Yeah, they just, they just waited perfectly against those Mystic Shots. Perfectly. What's the motive? Merely pawn is in a greater game. No darkness. Come, come. It's showtime. Man, I have so much nothing. Huh. Guess I'm the big guns now. Alright, so we can shock blast both of those that will level up Swain. Turn it against them.
Got really, really hurt by playing that Station Archivist and completely wasting a Station Archivist. It's, that's too valuable of a card. I should not have played it. I should have just played the two Mystic Shots and held on to it. It's too valuable of a card for us to waste like that. Alright, so our late game's looking pretty bad. Okay, so let's see how we can do against Gangplank set 20. We do have Sentry Flock this time. Is this even like a good Sentry Flock matchup, though? Because it does that doesn't take out either champion, and is there really anything that we care about Sentry Flocking? Maybe not. I don't really care about Mystic Shotting anything. I think we need to, you know, look for power. Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. The Forge Chiefs have looked pretty bad so far. You know, just traded with like an Otter Puss. And you know, stuff like that. And it's so they haven't been very impactful. You know, like, they have refilled their spell mana, and so they've been free, but they just haven't had any impact now. Hopefully they do this time, but they could, you know, maybe just get, like, Parlayed or something, and that isn't a very good trade. Parlay, make it rain. Maybe I should just mulligan it, too. Be nothing left when I'm done. I was thinking I didn't want them to have a free attacker. Like, right away, wanted a blocker. We don't have any spell mana to add on, but I want to get rid of that powder keg. So, so Dimitri said you kind of had two bad games. I don't think it was an issue with Chief. Rose is saying that like a Rose plays like only Swain. <laughs> oh, let's do. There's nothing a little ingenuity can't fix. Let's do this. And a Rose is saying that uh, I've tried a lot of um, combinations here with Jason Swain so far and haven't been able to get it let's to work. Get So their champions aren't very leveled, only two. Safety. Oh, that's such a killer. That's such a killer, because I can't use Thermogenic Beam for that, and we can't really Archivist either. There's nothing to hit with, just two mana. I just can't play anything. I was hoping at least to hit like a, a thermo and get a little bit of damage on that like a ravenous flock could could do. Seize the opportunity. Yeah, this is bad. A missing piece? We're kind of showing the awkwardness of a, of a lot of our cards, right? Like, without Sentry, our flock isn't doing much of anything. Same with Scorched Earth. Our cards are pretty awkward. And that can happen when you play all reactive cards. You know, reactive cards can certainly be awkward at times. Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. 
So you need your reactive cards to line up against your opponent's threats. Come on. I think we have something on that case. I I've never played three archivists where I can't play the spell before. And that's we're three for three. Alright, so I think what we're learning is we gotta play proactive spells with Archivist, right? Like Time Trick. Like that kind of stuff that we can like actually hit and, and still play. Fight for your lives. From the savage cold. If only we had one more mana, we could just, you know, do this assembly line and scorched earth. But that's kind of been the, the whole thing, is if only we had one more mana. Well fought. Just gonna get the multiple bodies in play. That could also allow me to kill a gangplank. Yeah, we can't stomp that, can we? Okay, we got J Slux. Okay, so we went back to the original donation deck because um, obviously we're not doing so good with the 0 and 3. And so we um, got rid of the few changes that I made. Send all these back. Let's keep Forger tomorrow. Um, basically, from the original list that the viewer submitted, they had the three Forge of Tomorrow, and I had taken them out to try to find more, try to put in more spells for the Archivist. I put in the 6 cost spell that puts the two three threes in play, and a third Thermogenic Beam, and something else as a 3 of. I don't remember what. I don't really want another Shock Blast, <laughs> so let's try this Weapons of the Lost. Oh, Arachnoid Sentry. Put a third one of those in. So I take them out for an Arachnoid Sentry, a Thermogenic Beam, and an Assembly Line. So we'll see how uh, the Forge of Tomorrow's do instead of those. Finally. Discipline and steel! Show them our metal! That fourth point of health matches up really well against these other three threes, and it gets my three damage. Soldiers, me. Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty crazy they just made a strictly better loyal badger bear. Glory unrelenting. Scarper for us, Machian. Let's go, people. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Basically hoping to do this and get damage on the Lux and then be able to like Ravenous Flock the Lux. Scorched Earth. Nice 
still have a lot more cards in hand than we do. Hey, Royal Spirit. Cast this weapons of the lost. But we can only kill 133. Can't play that first. Interesting use of tech. Do you have good attackers now? Kind of stabilizing. We're kind of stabilizing. So have two four Demacias and a random six plus cost spell. Replicating the power spike. Yeah, unfortunately, doubling it doesn't really do anything. Um, it would have been nice to play this thing first, of course. But if I play this first, then they, you know, like their plan's probably the Fort Demacia, and then. Oh, I guess that still would have dealt the double, so it still would have killed them through the Fort Demacia. So, yeah, I guess I could have played this first. Oh. Never mind. Down to three, but they're top decking. We can do this. <laughs> well, if you're going to be top decking, you might as well <laughs> draw your best champion. Might as well. So that puts us down to one. Could keep us alive. Who's the threat here? Just basically, will they play this for Demacia or attack? Victory, I guess we do this. This gives them the final spark, though. If we don't do this, we could potentially, you know, we could kill the Lux in response to the for Demacia. Now we just got to stun stuff, so we give them the final spark. But we can stun. On. They still have a 6 4 they can attack with. Right. Yeah, let's just kill the 3 3. What am I doing? There we go, that's better. Kill, stun, stun. Okay. There we go, figured it out. <laughs> I was thinking, I was like, alright, well, we want to get damage on. Like Lux for Ravenous Flock, and then I realized, wait a minute, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna heal, so that damage doesn't matter. And then I was like, well, we can do three total damage, kill three three. All right, so now actually we're looking pretty good. That all worked out really well. Now we 
go. Stun, stun, stun. Attack is lethal. Good. They didn't have anything. How about that? We, we had a nice comeback. Won a game. Okay, so we got the same matchup again. I think that we should probably be waiting till after we've cast the two spells for Jace. That's what it's kind of seemed like. Let's get to work. Okay, so the telescopes haven't made too much of a difference for you. Hey Scorpy, yeah, we got a donation deck for Jay Swain. Shut up, he said he said it's too slow. It's um, it's really so the it's not about slow. Like that's I, that's not really the right word for the for the deck. It's a reactive deck where you need your cards to um to line up, and so that like that's that's inherently flawed where. If your reactive spells don't line up with your opponent, it's going to be really troublesome for you. So the, we just don't really have enough proactive elements to the deck. Also, just not very much card advantage. So we, we're not really drawing more cards, and so to find more uh, specific answers. So like we need our our like few cards that we do have to line up really well against our few card, you know, against whatever our opponent's playing. And so that's asking a lot, and that's that's been the problem. It's not like it's not the deck slow. Like that's not the right thing. It's just. It's too reactive without um, enough ways to proactively spend mana. See, like, look at this. Like, I don't have anything to do. <laughs> and that's that's not good. I have just nothing to do. I guess I can do this. So there's, there's not enough ways to proactively spend mana in the deck. Like, I just have to just do that, because I have nothing else to do. And that's not a good play. Can't hide from me. So we need, I think we need to wait on Jace. Definitely considering about shoot, you know, shooting that, you know, blocking and then shooting it to get rid of the barrier. And it's kind of looking around the different options if we did that. All right, so thermo for nine is not ideal, but it does stop um, sharp sights from saving it. They would have had a second Lux in hand and build to just do the prismatic barrier. We would have been in a lot of trouble. But now the good news is we do have, you know, like we're not keeping, like a, a sharp side or two isn't saving it. We do have leveled up Swain because of all that damage. Uh, and that is one out of two now for the Jace. So there are a few good things about it. I should attack right there with the 2 1, right? Well, they block with this 2 2, but we say we add one mana and then we can, I don't know, have flock mana available. Yeah, I probably should have attacked. I'm better than just watching it die. Let me know if you still want them science lessons, Chase. That will do, Axel. Would I rather stun flock kill Persuader or kill Jace? I guess Jace, because I was assuming they're going to be playing another six cost spell here, probably putting like two, th three threes into play. I see all. You can't outrun justice. Uh. 
Oh, but then that turns into a... So I was scared of back-to-back, -back because we had seen back-to-back -back before. So I wanted to wait till after combat so they didn't back-to-back -back and say, you know, like, if, if they were going to use that to save Jace, then they didn't save the other thing. Killing Jace before Jace levels up. Now my Jace will be leveled up. Pharaoh's Financier is awesome, like always. It has made them true shot barrage and that shock blast two cards that were great for them. Seven, you know. Sparky. Beats field testing. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes. bad. I think this card assembly line is kind of what we're missing though, right? Like, we're missing proactive ways to spend mana and we're missing, like, bodies, right? Like, we don't have bodies, we don't have proactive ways to spend mana. So, I think assembly line kind of is what we need. Just six mana, put two three threes into play. That's just something we don't have. <laughs> but like all these like Scorched Earth, Ravenous Flocks, like everything's just so awkward in our deck. <laughs> you know, like we just, we need everything to line up perfectly. You know, our, our opponent was playing better cards. They were playing Financier, we weren't. I don't know why we were not playing Financier. <laughs> we had like hardly any Financiers the whole time in any of those games. Um, but like, you know, we had Forge Chief, but that Forge Chief just is not very impactful. I, I was not impressed at all by Forge Chief. I think I'd rather have House Spider or, you know, something else that, that can be more impactful than, than just a 2-1. Um, assembly line, you know, because like, it's basically just a one-man, you know, one-man 2-1 one that, you know, sometimes replaces the mana. But a lot of times we, we didn't have mana to proactively use anyway, and so we were, we were wasting mana anyway, so this refill one spell mana didn't matter. Um, but yeah, assembly line would would work out well with the, uh, you know, with the financier. Just give us some more proactive things to spend mana on. We need like more proactive ways to spend mana and have, you know, more damage based things. Of course, because of Swain. So like units that are dealing damage would be really nice. Like that would, that would be really nice. But we kind of need six mana spells. I don't know. There's. There's a lot that you need to go right for you in, in in here, and I don't know if these two champions can really work that well together. <laughs> you know, the, uh, Jace didn't look so good. You know, all Jace is really doing for us is making, like, creating this acceleration gate, but whenever you don't have unit, like, like this card does, doesn't really matter in a Swain deck, right? So it's, it's why play Jace in a Swain deck, basically. It's like, why, like, why is Jace better than Ezreal? They can actually make Mystic Shots that are you know, going to be a lot better for you. Or Caitlyn, they can make flash bomb traps that can help out. Um, 
you know, it, and it's better in combat and like all these other things, Heimer, Victor, Vi. This just doesn't seem like a very good pairing for Jace. Because, uh, you know, you want your acceleration gate to matter. And as we saw in all those games, that card didn't matter. All right. So anyway, that's what we learned about Jace Wayne. Uh, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and feel free to leave those comments. If you have figured out a Jace Wayne, definitely let us know. Um, but you know, like that's, I think that's my conclusions here is that Jace is, is just a, a, like Jace and Swain don't really pair well together. And, um, you know, you can play Piltover and Zaun and Swain and Shock Blast and Swain. I think abs absolutely you can do that kind of stuff, but I'd much rather see it more as real, I think, than having to try to force six, co six plus cost spells and everything with Jace and try to force like Forge Chief and, um, you know, just focus on, you know, static shocks, focus on targeting, um, with damage things that level up both Ezreal and Swain and so on. And sh Shock Blast awesome for Ezreal. You know, that's two targets. So, you know, that's cool. All right. But anyway, that's going to be it for Jay Swain. So as always, uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave those comments. I always appreciate that stuff, uh, but I will see you for the next video.